Hello, hope you are doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to create an event on Eventbrite. Whether that is an online event, an RSVP event, or you're looking to create a physical event, you will be able to do that using Eventbrite after watching this tutorial. The first thing you will need to do once on Eventbrite.com, you're going to go over to the top right hand corner and from there you're going to see the option create events you're going to select it after selecting create events you'll be redirected to a new page and you're going to tap on get started for free as with eventbrite you'll be able to create an event for completely free with this event with this platform you'll be able to sell tickets for your event and if it is a case that you're planning to keep it online you'll also be able to host it on the platform now you're going to tap on get started for free after tapping on get started for free from here you can choose to sign up with either your google account or your facebook account so you can tap on sign in with google right here or you can choose your facebook account once you're signed in you'll be redirected to this page and from here you have two options you can either choose to find an experience tell us what you love or organize an event and plan your best event ever we're going to be tapping on organize an event after selecting organize an event you'll be redirected to this page what type of events do you host so you can select whether it is a comedy event food and drink music community or so on we're going to be selecting music for this example after selecting music which best describes your music organization and you can select whichever one of these options then from there you can select the number of events that you plan to keep next year and we are just going to tap on i'm not sure as yet then after doing that and average how big are your events we're going to tap right there and i'm going to just select i'm not sure as yet also then from here you can select any one of these three options i'm going to be selecting this one then tap on continue after you have done that from here you're going to enter your country code and phone number just for verification purposes or you can choose to skip this by tapping on skip in the top right hand corner after you have selected that you'll be redirected to this page and you're going to tap on create your first event so we're going to tap on bill event once you have selected bill event you can give your event a name so i'm just going to call it uh, test concert so i'll type that in right here then you're going to select the date which it will be held so let's say for example it will be held the 8th of september and it is going to start at 5 p.m so i'm going to select 5 p.m real quick right here and it is going to end let me select the end time so it will be ending 8 p.m after doing that you can scroll down and if it is a case that it is keeping at a particular venue you can enter the location right here you could tap on search and you could type in the location that it is being held if it is keeping online you could select online right here if it is to be announced you can select to be announced you can select any one of these options i'm going to be selecting online event and then how much do you want to charge for tickets you can enter your price right here let's say for example we'll be selling our tickets for ten dollars if it is a case that you are doing it for free you could select my tickets are for free after doing that what's the capacity for your event you can tap right here and i'm just going to say 20. after doing that you're going to tap on create event in the bottom right hand corner after selecting create event you're going to be redirected to a new page on this new page you'll be prompt to verify your email address if you haven't verified it as yet so you can see right here start free trial and publish you're going to tap right there after tapping on start free trial and publish what you'll need to do next as you can see right here you can scroll down now and you can see how it looks so this is how your dashboard looks at the moment and with eventbrite you're also provided with marketing tools so you can create an email campaign and so on so you can see our event right here has been created so if it is a case that we like to view it we can view it let me tap on view right here 
and you can see how it looks this is how it looks at the moment if you would like to edit it further you can do that all you need to do if you want to edit it you can tap on edit event in the top left hand corner after tapping on edit event you'll be redirected to this page and from here you can edit each step so for example if you would like to change this you can simply tap on the image then you will see the option cover image and you can tap on the plus to add a cover image right there if you would like to add a video you could put in the video url right here if you would like to change the event name you can tap on it and from there you can change the event title you can also add a quick summary you can edit the date and time right there and you can also edit the about information here if you want so if you would like to add additional text add an image add a video you can also do that you can also use their ai feature to create information for you after doing that if you would like to add more sections you can do that for example you can view their faq ideas so if you would like to add an faq section you can do that by tapping on add faq if you would like to add agenda you can do that and you can view the agenda example right there so once everything is there like as you can see right here all you'll need to do now you can start sharing your event so to share your event we could tap on online event right there so we're going to tap on that and then from there you can see we'll direct your attendees to this page to access your event so you can select you can select get started after tapping on get started you can add your zoom link by tapping on add zoom right here or if you would like to link another provider you can do that so you are going to tap on settings here share online event with attendees or enable virtual venue we'll do this for you so you're going to tap on settings right there after tapping on settings you can choose whether you would like to share it with ticket holders only or anyone with the link you can select any one of these options i'm going to be selecting ticket holders only then we'll tap on apply after you have tapped on apply from there you're going to tap on save and after tapping on save that's it so now you'll be able to share the link and once someone makes a purchase they'll be able to attend your event you can also complete the payment setup by going over to the left hand menu option from here you'll see a few editing options so you can tap on order option and from there you'll be able to set up the order form so you could tap on order form right here and you could create an order form you can also go over to the left hand menu option once more and from there you can set up your waitlist or you can view your waitlist better yet so you could tap right there and you could enable waitlist meaning that persons will be able to access it now and then they'll be able to be on your waitlist to whenever your event is going to be held so you can tap right there you can also set up your payments and tax by tapping on payments right here and you'll be able to set up different payment options by tapping on payment options you'll be able to provide your customers with different payment options so you can tap on manage payment method and from there you'll see different payment options that you can add all you need to do is tap on it then from there you're going to tap on add payment method and you can add payment method right there after you're finished doing that all you will need to do now if it's a case that you like to create a refund policy you can do that once it is to your liking you're going to tap on back to events in the top left hand corner once on back to events you can see our event right here that has been created now we're going to simply tap on the three dots in line with the event name and from here you can tap on copy link and you can share the link on any social media platform hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe